Working dogs are really at home on a farm situation where they spend their days mustering sheep and rounding up cattle. Unfortunately, these days, a good many end up in suburban backyards in the big smoke. They become too much for their owners and they just get abandoned. Either that or they escape and they end up in the council pan. Luckily, there's an organisation dedicated to the rescue of these wonderful dogs and to give them a second chance in life. Di, how Hello, are Harry. you? Harry. I'm good, thank you. What are we up to? We're going to save a dog. Save a dog? Sounds good to me. Let's Come go. on. Di Edwards heads up Australian Working Dog Rescue. So, Di, where are we heading? We're heading to a shelter to assess a dog that we've been asked to help with rehoming. How many rescues would you have done today? We're up in the thousands now. They rehome working dogs either back to a farm or to an active family that'll suit them. The dog we're about to meet was abandoned a few weeks ago, and the staff here at the shelter have named him Flash. Well, he looks like only a puppy, doesn't he? Yeah, he's very young. OK, so he looks friendly enough towards you. What's the next step? We're going to take it out and see how it acts on a lead, how it responds to other dogs, and just generally its basic manners. So you are what we would call temperament testing, is that right? To a, in a very basic level, yes. Not too close. No response from Flash, though. That's very way. good. He just goes, no, I'm not interested, you know. Next step, how does Flash behave off the lead? Drive to actually chase something is yeah. what we're looking for. Good boy, good boy. This exercise will also show Flash's willingness to participate in an activity as well as indicate his level of motivation. Well, he's showing interest in the ball and he's yes. even bringing it back, which is a bonus. Yeah, he's not possessive of it. Never a growl and he's kept his tail wagging the whole time. No, nice Very dog. Happy. Yeah. Nice dog. Good dog. So why would you surrender a dog like this? Well, more often than not, these dogs aren't surrendered. They're picked up as strays because they've gotten bored in the backyard because they're not getting enough exercise, enough uh, mental stimulation, and they go looking for something to do. You'd have to be pleased with what's going on so far, wouldn't you? Absolutely. He shows every sign of being eminently rehomeable. So from here, it's off to Di's property, where her hubby, Kerry, will test Flash around the kind of animals he was bred to work with. G'day, Flash. So he's looking pretty good, babe. Yeah, he is. He's um, working on balance really naturally and moves with uh, nice, calm authority, which is showing some um, really good signs. Well, full marks for his natural ability, and he's getting along just fine with the other dogs on the property, too. Kisses. Kiss, kiss. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Di Edwards, Australian Working Dog Rescue. Di has dozens of potential owners registered, and boy, it's Flash's lucky day. He's off to meet Tara, who works in an educational farm nearby. So, Tara, where to from here? What we're going to do, we're going to introduce him to some sheep and start training. Well, ladies, it's time to uh, hand the lead over, isn't it? Eh? Absolutely. Thanks, Di. Thanks, Tara. You know how to get in touch with me if there's any problems. Great to meet you. You too, Harry. I'm going to follow Flash and see what he gets up to. Wonderful. Looking Thanks very to much. Tara, Excellent. let's go. Come on, Flash. Come on, buddy. Well, Flash, welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. What, oh, what do you think of it? Have a look at that. Let's have a look. Hey, what do you think about those, mate? <laughs> Roger the Muscovy. During the next few weeks, Tara will spend every minute she can with him. He'll meet all the other farm animals while undergoing some intensive training in the hope that he'll soon become part of the educational program here on the farm. And guess what? That's exactly what's happened. I'd like to introduce you to our newest member of the farm, six-month-old Flash Gordon. For an unwanted dog, Flash is really doing well. He's everything we'd hoped he'd become and more. I think he's going to be one of my best dogs. That's a big statement. It is a big statement. He, he's patient for me, but when I want him to be forceful, he's got that little bit of push, so I need that little force, and he's a little force. They say that every story should have a happy ending. This one certainly does. Tara, the owner's happy. The crowd watching on, well, they loved it. You don't think Flash is happy? I bet he is, because there's a working dog doing what a working dog's supposed to be doing. How good's that?